Hey guys, so I just wanted to have a close look here at the brand new Galaxy S7 Edge, Samsung's flagship for 2016 and uh, I wanted to see what the main changes are as well as check out some of the new features uh, that you will find and I think the first thing I have noticed about the device is the new uh, kind of ambient display uh, feature which uh, is I think borrowed from like the Motorola handsets uh, so you can see we do have the time coming up here as well as the uh, battery and I'm guessing notifications will occur uh, on the device you'll find this also on the standard Galaxy S7 uh, but what you won't find on the, the standard Galaxy S7 is the edge screen functionality which if you swipe up and down here you can see that does come up there and you will see notifications uh, popping up here so that uh, is something pretty nice here to put on your bedside table or something uh, I think you can also customize it to make uh, other stuff to come up on there like if you've got things installed uh, this is just obviously brand new so I've not really got much installed so I'll probably look into it a little bit further when I do uh, really set it up uh, but you can see here we do have a different uh, background uh, like nice blue one and there are some other backgrounds as well I've been checking out such as uh, these ones here so uh, I think uh, they're pretty much remixed versions of the Galaxy S6 uh, backgrounds and they do look very nice you know I, I'm uh, happy that they've made an effort here to you know where uh, make some different backgrounds here I think you can also do the wallpaper effect as well for a little bit more uh, nice eye candy I'm just going to keep it on the standard one for the time being uh, we also do have obviously the themes as well so you can put on different themes from the Samsung store so I'm guessing uh, some of these should be quite uh, nice and quick to put on here uh, and you probably have to sign in though uh, to obviously get access to them uh, so we can just uh, as well have a look at uh, some of the inbuilt apps uh, so you can see first things first we do have folders already set up to make the device uh, a little bit neater should we say on the uh, app drawer apparently Samsung might be getting rid of this app drawer eventually and making it so you can turn it on or off so for now they have obviously kept with the app drawer uh, it looks like they've got rid of the uh, music app like the Samsung music player and we are served by Google Play so this could be indicative of more closer kind of cooperation between Samsung and Google uh, so they're not like repeating the apps that Google already provides you can see we do have uh, the equalizer setting though so they've not gotten rid of that uh, as well as some very nice features here such as UHQ or scalar uh, you get your default settings obviously that you can put on as well as some advanced ones uh, surround sound and adapt sound as well uh, so nice uh, obviously music stuff here for those of you who are interested uh, in the uh, music I wonder if we do have any uh, music on the device here usually the, there is like uh, Samsung music so I think they have uh, this new Samsung music wow I'm not sure about that one to be honest I think I like the Galaxy S6 one a little bit more <laughs> uh, this is actually powered by the Exynos 8 series I think processor uh, so I've noticed uh, it's very buttery smooth in terms of going in and out of stuff uh, you know you get in the top end stuff here so you wouldn't you know uh, expect any different really going into stuff but however I have noticed there's a bit of lag when going in and out of the internet uh, app here so if we just come out of it here and then go back into it and then come out of it now and again I notice it does slow down a little bit uh, when coming out of this sometimes maybe that's just a software issue but generally as I said it's been a very nice buttery experience and you do have this new browser here which looks very nice to use and as you can see the content does slope down the device here because of the beautiful edge 
uh, display which is really awesome uh, so if we have a look in the settings see if we can see anything so you get your edge screen uh, settings as well so let's have a look so it looks like I need to update the edge screen setting so we'll do that later uh, edge panels, edge feeds, edge lighting so some nice uh, different things here that I'm not used to on the previous uh, edge phones that we can definitely check out advanced features what do we have here so one-handed operation so if you uh, you know have small hands that could be good for typing on the keyboard although the device isn't really that big actually I was expecting it to be a lot bigger uh, and you can see this quick launch camera obviously really awesome uh, feature that is uh, in terms of the actual camera this is a 12 megapixel now so the, the default picture size is actually 4 by 3 12 megapixel uh, you can go to 16 by 9 9.1 megapixel uh, to be honest I don't think it's going to make a huge difference in terms of the camera quality but I've read somewhere already like on a professional review uh, the, the uh, photos probably aren't as detailed as the Note 5 or S6 Edge Plus uh, so you know do bear that in mind if you do like to print out your photos and blow them up uh, there might be a little bit less detail with the 12 megapixel but I'm guessing it will make up for that in terms of the low light performance because of the 1.7 aperture uh, you can see you get a whole load of nice features here such as your panorama live broadcast and hyperlapse so and some sort of food mode as well uh, so gonna definitely uh, check some of these out I think you know the pro mode is there for those of you who are more budding kind of photographers you know you can pretty much control everything on this uh, particular mode which is nice so yeah you know uh, some nice uh, improvements here I think to the uh, the touch whiz obviously I said that the the icons look a little bit bigger you know uh, nice uh, on the eyes here you still have this wonderful world clock uh, which really looks awesome compared to stock Android uh, I'm guessing you obviously get the multitasking as well you know like we used to here so we haven't taken that away obviously and it looks like it works pretty much the same as before and you can obviously go into the multitasking holding down the uh, recent button to go into something else nice and quick uh, so uh, yeah you know I think we get a live feature as well for the cameras like a motion panorama or something so the, obviously taking some inspiration from uh, Apple there uh, but I don't think we get any force touch technology yet maybe we'll see that on the uh, Note 6 uh, so uh, yeah as I said I will be doing some other videos checking it out a little bit more in further detail Hope you uh, enjoyed this close look of the Galaxy S7 Edge and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.